Welcome back to turn four of Retaking Vareville, a starter kit tutorial let's play session. I think we're going to get wrapped up here in turn four. It's looking very grim for the Americans, primarily because of some decisions I made early on in the game on turns, probably turns one and two. Um, I decided to bring a force up through this wheat which is kind of disastrous because the Germans were able to come right on and kind of ambush them and break them. And I think some got eliminated for failure to route. Um, looking at my stack off board here, over here, I see the Americans have lost three and a half squads and an eight minus one leader so far. Plus they have broken squad here, broken squad here, and a broken squad here. So... Uh, the Americans are not looking good. Oh, and a bunch of broken stuff here as well. Uh, let's review the victory conditions real quick before we start turn four. <clears throat> so the victory conditions, as they are written. The Americans win at game end if there are no good order German units in buildings N5, N6, M4, and L3, which are, are marked here. So essentially, um, the Americans have to flush all the Germans uh, out of the building, the victory condition buildings. Um, so essentially the Germans only need to hold one of these victory condition buildings at the end to win. So as it stands now, the Americans basically secured these right at the beginning by jumping into them. Um, and the Germans got these two by coming, bringing reinforcements on this way. And based on what's left on the board, I really don't see a way for these Americans, to really get into it, they're just going to be under DM, probably, unless I get some lucky rolls. They're going to be under DM the rest of the game. They'll be under DM. Everything is going to be under DM, except for, I think I have a squad under here, and then these two squads. And for the Americans to take this building, unless I can rally all these guys, they're going to have to commit these two squads to somehow getting over here. And that's just going to make these two buildings vulnerable to all these German units down here to jump in and grab, even if they grab one of those buildings and hold it till the end of turn five, it will be over for the Americans. So let's see how turn four here plays out. And I may throw in the towel at the end of turn four. Um, the main reason for this let's play, and the same with the guards counterattack for full ASL that I did months ago, isn't necessarily to teach you perfect tactics because tactics are so situational depending on scenario terrain nationality order of battle i mean a lot of things that are happening what i'm is to teach the rule the basics of the rules so i may have done some dumb things tactically here to show and demonstrate things especially in the guards counterattack. i did a human wave you don't really need to do a human wave in that scenario so i'm doing things that may not make sense just to show how some of the rules work so i would not recommend playing <laughs> retaking Vireville as i played it out here especially as americans uh, so just keep that in mind as we play through uh, this turn four, and if you go back and watch the uh, previous three turns uh, in those uh, video episodes. So let's start with, let's see, we're on German turn four. Let's start with a German rally. I don't think they have anything broken. No, they do now. They're sitting pretty. So let's start with American rally. Let's start here. Under DM, so plus four, minus one for rally terrain. Oops, and minus one for the leader. So it's a plus two modifier for my dice. Okay, so I need to roll basically a six or above to rally them. And I did. Good for those paratroopers. Uh, up here, he cannot, it's the German's turn. Can't do a self rally on one unit. So I'll just take DM off here and try to rally this guy here. I am in rally terrain. He was not under DM. I must not have fired on him. Otherwise, I would have marked them. So I only need a basically a nine. I have a minus one modifier. And they rallied as well. That's good. Can't believe I didn't put them under DM. Then here, what do I have? Oh, yeah. Broken leader. 
broken squad. They're both under DM. Oh, geez, and a half squad. They're all under DM. That pin goes away. So I have uh, one and a half good order squads. And need to try to rally these guys. So I try to rally uh, the leader here. Self rally and uh, rally train modifier plus one, minus one. They cancel. So it's a plus four total. So he needs a five to rally. Uh, nope, which means these other guys cannot rally. They're still they're all still broken, but they are not under DM anymore. They will be shortly though. <laughs> the Germans will make sure they stay under DM. Uh, that is it for rally. Let's go to German prep fire. DM. Well, let's see. I wanna. I'm not too worried about capturing these two. Uh, if I can break some of these guys, that'd be good. But I'm not going to really move anything out of here. I'm just going to make sure I hold those. So I'm going to, I'll start by firing these two squads, I think, onto, <clears throat> excuse me, onto, I think, here. So that's going to be eight firepower. Four and four. And a straight mod plus three modifier for a stone building. So it's going to be an eight plus three modifier it's a nine on an eight that should be a pin check that is a pin check on this unit here Whoop. and he is not pinned he made it uh let's see what else do i want to prep fire what do i have here two squads two squads Hmm, hmm. I think I'll fire uh, Eichmann and Gang over. I'm gonna. I will get DM on this guy, but I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna do it with this unit here. Uh, I'm gonna advancing fire this guy. I think after I move him, so I'm gonna fire Lieutenant Eichmann and Gang here. It's gonna be ten firepower, two squads, which goes down to eight. Plus three stone building and minus one leadership, so it's a plus two total. Eight plus two. Ooh. Five on an eight. So plus two morale check. Puts them under DM. Or no, they rallied, that's right. Um plus two morale check on Hayward. No, let me mark these guys. Prep fired. Eight plus two, he's pinned. He matched his morale, so he ends up being pinned, which means pin leader cannot use his leadership modifier. So that's going to be a plus two morale check on him. Straight plus two with no modifier. And uh, he broke. Broke again. So he is under DM again. The leader is pinned. He is prep fired. Um, DM these guys. I, I got to get DM, although he rallied. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really want to do much. As a German's. I'm okay with sitting tight. I don't need to capture these buildings back. If I move in close without breaking these guys or maybe getting smoked down, they're just going to light me up and I'm going to break. So I might just do a bunch of prep fire. I am going to move him though. So let me prep fire this guy up here just to DM him. It's going to be a four plus three. I want to get DM. So if he cowers, it'd be a two plus three. The best result I could get is a 5, is a normal morale check. That would still give him DM. So I'm just going to fire up there at 4 plus 3. Probably going to be nothing. <laughs> Look at that, he cowered. So hey, fire goes down to a 2. It's going to be a 5. It's going to be a normal morale check. Even though he cowered. So he went down to 2 firepower from his 4. Uh, plus 3 modifier. So it's a 5 on a 2 firepower, which is a normal morale check. And he has a morale of eight. 
This could reduce him if I roll poorly. I do not. He passed. Yep. Accomplished what I wanted. I wanted to get DM. I need to get DM on these guys. I might just do a big fire group. One, two. I could fire up here. Or I could do one, two, three, four. That's out of range for him. I'm probably going to move him. Uh, I think I'll just fire this guy. Yeah, I'm probably going to move. I can advancing fire to get DM on him. One, two, three, four. Yeah, let me fire this guy up here. Maybe I'll get lucky. Everything else has DM. It's going to be a four plus three. Uh, that's a whole lot of nothing. And they coward. Um, I think I'm going to move. Go to movement phase. Well, let's see. I need to be careful. Oops, jeez. Hmm. No, maybe maybe I will fire these guys. One, two, three, four. Yeah, they're in a stone building. It's a good way to keep these guys cut off if they somehow manage to get in the fight. I don't think they will. So I'm going to fire over here. I have two, two five firepower squads, so it's going to be a 10, which goes down to 8 on the firepower table. Plus 3 for a stone building, minus 1 for leadership, so it's going to be an 8 plus 2 total modifier. 10 on an 8 is a nothing. I rolled doubles, but they did not cower because a leader was directing their fire. I did get DM on them. So there's that. Uh, this guy, I am going to move. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fire him. I'm gonna get him out of the crossroads there. Uh, so that's prep fire. Let's go to movement phase. Let's just start with this guy here. He's just gonna go. It's gonna go two, four. Bolster up the front there. Get, get some more coverage through here. This guy is going to, I'm not going to fire. Well, I could fire on him. He moved normally. Yeah, maybe I will. Well, no, I'll wait because then I could get, if I do final, if I do first fire, it'll only affect the moving unit. If I do, and I'll get a minus one bonus for non-assault movement. But if I wait till final fire during the defense fire fires, I'll affect both the units. So I'm just going to wait there. And then I'll advance, or sorry, I will assault move into there with that guy. There's no real advantage on firing on him because I use uh, assault movement. Uh, and that's it for movement. Let's do defensive final fire. Um, start here. Forget what I had. I think I had a squad and a half. Yeah, 10 firepower. I'll go down to eight. I could fire. Well, this is going to hit the the uh, orchard here. That would be a plus four modifier or a plus three modifier here. I think I'll fire over here. Eight plus three. That's going to be final fire on the little guys that are firing. Eight plus three. And that's nothing. And these guys are going to be firing at long range. One, two, three, four. But they'll go ahead and take a shot here. Uh, it's going to be a two plus three. I'm not expecting a whole lot. Final fired. Two plus three. <laughs> nope. Um, and then these guys over here. A fire. Uh, this I can't do a fire group. And hit you know any of these hexes. It looks like everything is blocked. So I think I'll just fire this guy up here. That's gonna be a six plus three. That's nothing. Then I'll fire one, two, three, four. Yeah, might as well fire down there. Fire hitting, getting effect on him is not gonna do a whole lot. Um, I'll go six plus three down there final fire 
he cowered. Doesn't matter. Got no effect. Uh, that's it for um, defensive fire. Defensive final fire. Let's do. I guess I can remove all these. No residual. I didn't fire while anyone was moving. Let's do advancing fire. Um, let's fire this guy here. One, two, three, four. He could fire here, but he wouldn't be able to use his assault fire because he's at beyond normal range. So I think I'll take a shot here. So assault fire, it's going to be, for advancing fire, it's going to be half. So it's going to be two and a half. Then you add one for assault fire, three and a half. Then you round up. So it's going to be four. Four firepower plus four, plus three for the stone building, plus one for the orchard, just going along that edge. So four plus four, nothing. Just put him under the prep fire. Then over here, I'll fire this guy. He's already got DM. That's long range. Probably hits the, the grain here as a hindrance. I'll just fire across the street here. Um, do it. It's going to be a half firepower, two plus three. Need like a two or a three to get anything. Nope. Come on. Uh, that's it for advancing fire. Um, route phase. They're gonna stay there. Well, it's a German route. They don't. They don't have anything. So let's go to the Americans. Um, they could route back here. Might take them out of range a little bit and reduce their firepower, at least from these guys. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll route. Since they're under DM, they can route again. Come on. Come on. Route them back to there. They'll stay there and they'll stay there. Uh, route phase. Kind of lost track. I had to go answer the door real quick. Um, route phase, advance phase. German advance. Um, <clears throat> I think I'll advance Corporal Sadler to there. I could advance these guys into their street. Don't want to risk that. Nah, I'm going to leave them there. Leave them there. I'm going to leave everything. Well, hmm, I could risk. I could maybe risk advancing these guys to here. Or one of them to there. I could do that. That could pose problems for these guys. They'd have to route back. Next turn, if they don't rally, they'd have to route back. These guys could fire at them six even. Yeah, why not? I'll do that. Uh, I'll leave you the other Germans where they are. Uh, no close combat. So let's go to American turn four and see what happens with the rally. Rid of that pin. Oops. I think that was only pin. Okay, American Rally. And there's no more reinforcements for you, for you to decide. So let's just play this out. Okay, uh, let's try to do a self rally here as my first rally. It's a long shot. So plus four for DM, uh, plus one for self rally, minus one for rally terrain. So it's a plus four. Need a four to self rally those guys. No, not even close. And then here, let's try to rally this squad. Minus one terrain, minus one leader, plus four DM, so plus two total. Need a six. Oh, they could do this, but they do not. They remain under DM because they're adjacent to a known enemy unit. They're going to have to route. They'll have no choice next route phase. And then over here, I need to rally this leader. Minus one rally terrain, minus plus one uh, self-rally. 
So it's an even plus four for that leader. He needs a five. Five plus four is a nine. He rallied. Oops. Now these guys are still under DM. Now there's a minus two for Richardson, a minus one for being in a building, rally train, and then a plus four. So it's a plus one total. I need a seven and a six, essentially. Dang it. My tweezer skills have not improved. I need to roll, because it's a plus one, I need to roll a seven for this guy and a six for this guy. So the top guy does not rally. The bottom half squad, I need a six. He does not rally. DM is removed, and I did rally Richardson. Let's try to soft rally. Did not rally this guy. Stayed under DM. DM removed, just rally the leader. Germans have nothing. So let's go to American, American Prep Fire. What to do? Uh, yeah. So the Americans basically have to capture both of these buildings. The Americans win a game in if there are no good order German units in all of these buildings. He's obviously not going to get it. He can't move. He's going to be under DM. He's going to have to run for it. These guys are going to have to run for it. This guy's still broken. Prep fire. Shush. Going to be running a murderer's row here. I may not have any prep fire. I may just have to go for it and see how poorly it ends. I guess I could prep fire this guy on here. Maybe a six, six even. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's fire this paratrooper squad on the guys in the in the intersection here. Uh, six even. There's no terrain effect modifier. They're not moving. They're just kind of sitting in the street, probably laying in the street. Six even. Nine out of six is a whole lot of nothing. I uh, think that's it. Let's go to movement. Hmm. If I double time with the leader, let's see, I could go eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oof. Uh, these guys, I could go one, two. They'd be running through no man's land here, right through here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, they might be able to get close. Let's start with this guy. Let's see. He is going to... He's going to try to put smoke... Place smoke into this hex here. He has a smoke exponent of three. So I need to roll on one dice. Uh, three or less. It costs two movement factors to place smoke in an adjacent hex. So let's roll the red die. I need a three or less. Oh, I uh, did not get it. I rolled a four. Okay. And I just expended two movement factors in that hex. So I, I could be fired on now um, for using non-assault movement. Even though I'm not technically moving, I did expend movement factors, so I could be fired on now. Or I could wait to see, as a German, I could wait to see if they're going to uh, try to go into the street here and fire on them then. And as the Americans, I could even now declare, no, I could not declare assault movement. You have to declare assault movement the first thing during a unit's movement phase um, before they do anything else. Double time is when you can... Uh, declare after you started moving but assault movement you have to declare first thing so i either need to stop there or continue moving um and if i did i'd have to use full movement i have to go three here and it would be non-assault movement and moving in the open it would be uh if these guys fired what would that be a 16 minus two uh boy i don't like that i think i'll wait maybe try it next term um, but I'm not going to, as a German, I'm not going to fire. Um, I'll wait. So these guys technically moved, kind of angle them there to show that they moved. Hmm. Let's go. Let's see over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
I don't like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. But it's the situation I find myself in. Um, if I use Han, one, two, three, four, five, six, I could get into the roof. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's, let's just try it. I really don't want to double time, so I'm going to move with Han. See what happens. Let's go one, two. I think I'll fire here. A fire with Tucci or Tichi here. One, two, three, four. It's going to be an eight minus three. Got two, ten firepower. Goes down to eight minus one. Jeez. Minus one leader. Minus two for movement in the open and non assault movement. So eight minus three for a first fire. Eight minus three. Six on an eight is probably a one. One MC. Yep. Sergeant Han. Plus one morale check. Made it. Plus one morale check on the squad. They got pinned. Roll six plus one is seven. They have a morale of seven. They pin. They immediately go to ground right there. Han could keep moving. Do I want to keep moving him? Okay, I'm going to fire again with these guys, or fire with these guys. Um, in this case, okay, these guys, the squad became pinned. So they are no longer subject to first fire non-assault movement or first fire moving in the open uh, penalties. They've kind of gone to ground, but Sergeant Han is still subject to those penalties. If this unit were to break after I fire on them, they would then again be subject to FNAM and FMO modifiers. But right now they've gone to ground. They're not subject to those modifiers, but Han is. So it's going to be an eight even on these guys and an eight minus two on Han. Uh, six on the squad, six on an eight is a one MC. Remember that I rolled a six. Okay. Let me just do this. So it is a one MC on the squad and a two MC on Sergeant Han. Let's do Sergeant Han first. Needed to resolve that. Two plus two morale check. And he broke. This could be the game right here. They're no longer pinned. Well, they are still pinned. They may break. Let's see what happens. Uh, it was a six on an eight. That was a one MC on the squad. Uh, they did break. Final roll of an eight. Pin counter goes away. They are now subject to FNAM and FMO modifiers again if they are fired on by another unit. Uh, they are probably essentially out of the game. This fire group is first fired. They only expended one in there, so these guys can't fire again. And they're essentially broken. I'm not going to fire on them again anyway. Oh, and there would be residual there. Let's see. This first group, the four residual. No one's going to move in there, but let's put it down. Do I have a residual counter out? No. Not a four residual anyway. Uh, let's get a four. Four residual. Okay, they're done moving. They broke. These guys, let's see. They could be tricky and they could kind of run around and avoid subsequent first fire from these guys because these units are closer. If I ran this way, they'd be able to subsequent first fire because they would be the closer units. But if I went around, what would that be? That'd be... I have to go way around. I have to go one, two, three, four and a half. I can only get to here. And then these guys could fire on me anyway. Or run the gauntlet up through here. Uh, let's try this. 
Let's do that. Let's go the half squad. They're going to double time for one. Because I'm desperate as the Americans here. One. Two. Uh, I'm going to hold my fire with these guys, but I will fire subsequent first fire. Uh, these guys, um, they are closer than any other unit that the American unit that these Germans can see. So they can fire on them moving. And it's going to be half firepower, so it's going to be nine. Goes down to four and a half, which goes down to four on the infantry fire table. And it's going to be a minus two modifier, moving in the open and non-assault movement. Their final fire, four minus two. Four minus two, uh, and they cowered. So it's going to be a two minus two. It's going to be a six on a two, which is a pin check on these guys. And they pinned. Uh, I can't remember if CX goes away if you get pinned. I don't know why I can't remember that. I'm just going to leave that to the side. Maybe over here anyway. Um, that's going to leave two residual there. Which means... Oops, jeez. Which means if I take these guys on the same path, they're going to get attacked. I could go around. I could go. I could go here, but they could final protective fire. Probably wouldn't risk it because it would be a morale check. I have to take a morale check. These guys could just fire anyway. Uh, but they, yeah. So one, two, three. Four, five, six, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I better go. They'll double time as well. They'll go one, two. They'll get hit by two residual minus two. Maybe it is a one residual. Did I? Did these guys cower? Man, it was only like ninety seconds ago. It might be a one, one residual. I think they might have. Coward, or was it these guys that cowered before? No, it, these guys must have just got. I think that's one residual there. So one minus two, six on a one, nothing, or a pin check if it was a two. I'm pretty sure they cowered. I'm just gonna let them go for it, let them make it through. Uh, they go to there. These guys will subsequent first fire. I think I have. Yeah, two squads, 10, goes down to five, half firepower, down to four on the infantry fire table. Minus one for leader, minus two for FNAM FMO. It's going to be four minus three. Ooh, five, two on a four is a K slash two. So they are casualty reduced. And they have to take a plus two morale check, which they fail. <laughs> and there's two residual there. These guys are final fired. That's probably, that's probably it. Um, they, oh yeah, I moved, I tried to pop smoke. So they technically moved. These guys are broken. Yeah, I've got nothing else to move, and everything here is broken, I believe. Believe, or pinned. He's pinned. Half squad's pinned. These guys are broken. These guys are broken. Uh, probably, I did not leave anything to fire on these guys to give them DM, which was kind of silly of me in final fire. But can they get into it? Probably not. These guys are pretty much all out. They can't move any further. These guys are going to be under DM. These guys have to route. They'll jump into that building. The, yeah. I am going to call it here. Bottom or middle of bottom of turn. Game turn four. Middle of the American turn four. I'm going to call it here. I don't think the, Amer the Americans don't have a prayer uh, to get over and uh, flush these Germans uh, out of these buildings. Uh, and it may be a fact that the Germans could just very well take one of these buildings anyway. 
as I'm trying to get, get over and do this. So I'm going to call it here on this uh, playthrough scenario. There won't be much annotation on this one. And I think this will be the last. I won't say last. This will be... I won't do another Let's Play for quite a while. I enjoy I enjoy doing them. Hopefully people get some use out of showing how the basic mechanics go. Um, and I, actually, I really should do some future Let's Play, especially using uh, guns and armor. Um, simple things, you know, with maybe a couple guns or mortars or, you know, one or two tanks uh, on each side for both for full squad leader and starter kit. So I won't say I will never do another Let's Play again because they do take some time, especially the early turns where I do a lot of annotating. So I will say I will commit to doing more Let's Play in the future that focus on guns and or tanks because I think uh, that would be helpful to some new players. Uh, that's it for retaking Vereville. Not a lot of uh, great things going on tactically, especially for the Americans, but hopefully you were able to glean some basic uh, core rules knowledge from this playthrough of the starter kit scenario. And uh, we'll see you in the next Let's Play series, whenever that may be. Adios.